What's up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast. Now, I'm Alex, and this video I want to talk about a Sly Cooper reboot. If they be, if this is something that could happen, if people would get uh, behind this, kind of have a whole discussion uh, based off of that. Um, I know these videos are very popular in its own group of people that do like these videos, and I honestly appreciate uh, anybody who chooses to watch it. So make sure you guys are supporting this. If you want to see me make more Sly videos, make sure you guys are leaving that like. Make sure you guys are subscribed, have that bell icon turned on, all that kind of stuff. And as always, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make more Sly videos and also what those are. I know I've teased that I wanted to rank the games or I want to rank the games. I've said that for a long time. I feel like I've said that for several months. Um, one day I will do it, but let me know if there's anything in addition to a ranking that you guys would like to see. Now, this is interesting. We've talked about pretty much, I think, on this channel, every single aspect of the future of Sly, except for this one. We've talked about remasters, right? And that's kind of what everybody seemingly is on board with. I think what's cool about you guys, like the community is Sly, is that we all kind of know what needs to be done. I like that. I honestly like that. I feel like there's a couple gaming communities out there that are like all very aware of what's happening. Same thing with like prototype. But with Sly, again, it's like, all right, well, to get another Sly, to get a Sly 5 would be rather difficult to just have that come out. Do we go the remake option? Would they remake those first three games, four games? Would they do something like that? Would they just remaster them, put them all in a collection? Right. So we've talked about that. So we talked about the remasters. We talked about Sly 5. We talked about remaking them, which again, with all the games that have been remade, with Crash, with Spyro, and even like Sony specifics, you know, we had like Meta Evil, which is like, wh why did you do that? What was stopping you from doing like Sly Cooper? versus that game like it's just so I mean obviously it's kind of like a, a cult classic right but very very different very odd that they would pick something like that over Sly and I'm not saying like they only had two options and they chose one over the other but you know so could they go the remake option the last thing the last thing that I think is easily, in my opinion, the most unrealistic and also like I maybe even the worst, probably the worst thing that could happen would be a reboot. Now, games don't necessarily go this route. I can't really think of many examples of games that are like, okay, franchise used to be good enough and then it kind of died out. And so what should we do? Well, let's like start from the ground up. Oh, you mean like remake them? No, I mean, let's do it again. But we have to like kind of reimagine it. Now, it happens with movies. It happens with TV. I'm sure it has happened with games. I truly actually can't think of many examples right now, like recording with you guys. If you, if you have any, definitely let me know in the comments. But, you know, because I, when I was planning this video, I'll be honest with you. As I was planning this video, I was thinking, okay, what topics, you know, could I cover? And one of the things I thought about was voice casting. Would people support if we ever got a voice cast that was different than what we already have that was my first kind of idea and I thought okay well what can I do with that so the reboot so let's take that let's let's use that first let's talk about the voice acting because that's something so if you reboot something you have to obviously make the newer one very different but at the same time kind of keep the the heart of what the original was right that's generally the the point I know sometimes in, in Hollywood and stuff like that they go really really far to change up quite a bit sometimes too much than they really should have um but for a game again it's a little bit more difficult how do you do that well one of the first things you could do is you reimagine maybe what the characters look like now with every console generation and the jumps up like that we do get you know different you know animations we do get like how different how they look basically right and we've gone through a couple different eras of how Sly looks. How, I mean, not just him, but I mean the games, right? Th these games have changed quite a bit over the years. They've jumped. I mean, not, even from Sly 1 to 2, I think that was the biggest one. 2 to 3 wasn't that big of a jump. And then 3 to 4 was obviously massive, right? So we've seen that before. But then, okay, so if you reboot it, you have to take it one step further. You really have to change it. And another question would be, do you, I mean, I guess because it's called Sly Cooper, you really can't have it happen without him. So it's not like you can choose like different characters and do like a side game based off of, like Carmelita or something, right? Like that wouldn't necessarily work. So you'd have to do Sly. So you'd have to bring back everybody, but they'd have to be reimagined. So they have to look slightly different. And then again, the biggest thing is, do you have the same voice actors? I don't think you do because at that point, you're basically, you're making a new game. It's like, well, why wouldn't you have just done a Sly 5? And again, I think when it comes to video games, that's why it's not necessarily looked at the greatest because if you're going to go through the effort to 
change up the models, change up kind of the, again, maybe not the heart and soul, but it could be parts of it of what the game is. You, and you do all that stuff, right? You have like new voice actors, you're telling a brand new story, all that. Well, why couldn't you have just done the next game in the franchise, right? Like just continue the story out. If people were burnt out, what makes you think they're going to start like brand new? Don't you think you'd have a better chance of just continuing what you already set out to do? And I think that is the case, right? Um, and that's the thing with me. I, like I'm big into voice acting. I, I I like to look up into the, like voice actors and actresses. Like I like to know who's voicing. I know some people like that may break the the realism thing. I completely understand that. I think there's some aspects where if I hear a voice or I see a character like a you know a real life person portraying somebody um, in like a movie or TV show, I can't not see that person. But at sometimes I actually can't. Nolan North is a good one. Most games. When I hear Nolan North, I actually think of him. When he plays Nathan Drake, though, funny enough, when it's just his normal voice, I think Nathan Drake. I don't actually ever picture Nolan North. So it's kind of weird uh, how that goes, like, personally for me. But I can tell you, if they did that with Sly, I'd be so upset. I'd be so upset because, I mean, that's just an iconic. They're all really iconic voice. Now, I believe Murray's voice has changed, um, but it's been consistent for, like, the, I think between one and two. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost positive that Murray's voice did change. But, like, Bentley and Sly, like, those have been the same uh, throughout. So, like, again, like, you can change maybe side characters, right? Like a Dimitri or, like, a Carmelita. Like, you can maybe change that, get away with it. But you can never, I think, really get a new voice for Sly. Now, if something ever happened to him, him. Oh my God! Like that'd be the worst. But um, I really think you're you're stuck with that. Like that, and that, in a, again, that's in a good way. Like it's a good thing. They're in a good situation. Again, like this was just like the kind of last thing. Like okay, we've gone through every other option. Could they just reboot the franchise, start brand new? Again, it's the last option. And and honestly, there's a good reason why it's the last option. Like I said, because it's just not. I think a good option at all when you think of a reboot. I really, you know, I guess again, it just works better with movies, TV because you've had more time. Gaming, I feel like like it's just easier to go back to old games, right? Like uh, 10 years for games I don't think is as big of a deal as like 10 years for movies. You could realistically reboot movies, reboot TV shows within like a decade of each other, and it would maybe still be weird, but it wouldn't be that weird. For a game, you know, Resident Evil 4 is getting remade, and people are still, including myself, we even made a video talking about like, you know, is that the right move? Because, I mean, yeah, it's going to be like 15, 16 years old, but like, is it that old? Like, doesn't it kind of, you know, it, it's really funny when you think of it like that, right? Because the games still hold up. I think Sly 2 holds up remarkably, insanely, insanely well. Sly 3 as well. I think those games can hold up insanely well. And again, you know what that means? That means they can be remastered. That means they can be remade. Now, the longer it goes, the, lo the, like, the, the remaster kind of has less weight because because, yes, they do still hold up, but the longer it goes, the more a remake would seem like it fits the bill rather than a remaster. You know what I mean? It just I, I just feel like y y the longer you go, it's not going to hold up as well. Okay, so, uh, you know, a reboot, after you get past those two, after you get past the Sly 5, I really, I mean, if you land on a reboot and that's the decision they, they want to go, then that is the, the decision. But I really don't think that will end up being it. I, I, you know, every passing day that goes by, really when it gets to the PS5, like this is our next next chance we talked about that before right like ps5 is the next chance for a sly cooper and i'm not saying when they announced the ps5 when they announced those games we're going to get sly um but it is just the next opportunity presented to us and I i'm i'm really hoping you guys have been really really awesome uh, i really do appreciate you guys watching all these sly videos i love making them sly means so so much to me um i've played those games countless especially two and three i play those games like 15 20 times each it's actually insane how many times i've beaten those games so i love them i just want a brand new game i mean if they did a reboot i honestly probably would still get it i wouldn't be happy about it i would i like I'd, I'd have a lot of questions i would be wondering what's going on um but honestly at this point anything sly related is is fine by me but guys let me know in the comments below what do you think do you think uh sly could go the remake route could go the remaster route can go a reboot route let me know again let me know uh what other videos you want to make ranking if there's nothing else i'll promise you guys this if there's nothing else i can think of of Sly Relator that you guys give to me, I will do the ranking video next. Pretty easy, honestly, my ranking of the games. Maybe one controversial thing probably at the top, um, and that's probably it, but I will do that uh, very, very soon, if not the next live video I make, okay? Thank you again so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. I hope to see you all on the next video.